dying of the United States this year. An estimated 600,000 people will die from the disease in 2016. The cases and deaths impact all of us, our neighbors, friends, and family members. Vice President Joe Biden lost his son, Bo, to brain cancer last year, and now he's leading the White House's Cancer Moonshot Initiative. My colleague Mike McIntyre discussed the cancer moonshot earlier this week on 90.3 The Sound of Ideas, where Jennifer Hendricks discussed her experience as a stage four breast cancer patient. I have a nine-year-old and a four-and-a-half-year-old, and the thought of them growing up without their mom, it breaks my heart. And my goal is to be here as long as I can be here. Then on Wednesday, Ideas Dream convened Northeast Ohio's researchers, doctors, scientists, patients, and cancer survivors as part of the National Cancer Moonshot Summit. Yesterday, Vice President Biden came to Cleveland, where he spoke at the Lancaster Years Community Health and Education Center to highlight the work being done in the fight against cancer by the Case Comprehensive Cancer Center, which is a partnership between the Cleveland Clinic, University Hospitals, and Case Western Reserve University. Dr. Monica webb Hooper is director of the Office of Cancer Disparities Research at the Case Comprehensive Cancer Center. She met yesterday with the Vice President, and she's here with us today. Dr. webb Hooper, welcome to Ideas. Thank you very much. So tell us first off, why did the Vice President choose to come to Cleveland? That was very exciting that he decided to make Cleveland his first stop after the National Cancer Moonshot Summit in Washington, D.C. And he said that he really uh, chose to come to Cleveland first because he's aware of the premier world-class hospital system that we have here and the work that's being conducted at the Case Comprehensive Cancer Center. He was well aware of that work and was really intrigued by a proposal that we submitted to the White House and the VP's office about an initiative uh, for cancer prevention science here in Cleveland. He had to be thrilled, too, at the collaboration because I know not all cities have the collaboration that our hospitals do. Absolutely. In many respects, the Case Comprehensive Cancer Center is a model for other uh, for other hospital systems and other cancer centers, and really just the healthcare system in general, um, where organizations can collaborate and care, can share information, which is one of the primary goals of the Moonshot Initiative, and that is to have what they call big data, and that is organizing and synthesizing information from a variety of domains into one sort of database or repository so that investigators across the you know, country can really accelerate the advances in the knowledge that we have about cancer treatment and prevention. I know one of the things the Vice President has pushed, as has President Obama, is the idea of acceleration, trying to do 10 years worth of research in five years. Absolutely. That's really key, and I think the Moonshot Initiative really has reinvigorated the scientific community, but also everyone who works or is cares about who's been affected by cancer. And this Moonshot really has been an unprecedented opportunity to have conversations about what needs to happen and how we can advance the field from all stakeholders, from the scientists to the researchers, physicians, um, you know, people who work with patients like navigators, um, patients themselves, caregivers, families. So everyone really has been involved in this process and has provided input on things that we can do to accelerate progress. I heard somebody talking the other day during the moonshot conference about the idea it's not a moonshot, it's more of a meteor shower because cancer has so many targets. I know you have one specific area that you want to work with and you were able to talk to the vice president. So we are really interested, I'm really interested in health disparities, minority health, cancer prevention, and focusing on risk factors, things that increase your chances of developing one of many cancers. And my area of expertise is in the area of smoking, tobacco use. Um, and that's primarily, primarily the reason that I'm in Cleveland is because the very high smoking rate in Cleveland really needs to be addressed. And so we proposed to, to the White House and they've highlighted our initiative. We're collaborating with the George Washington University in DC, and the goal is to develop a cancer prevention, a community-wide community -wide cancer prevention program that would address tobacco use and also would increase the rates of HPV vaccination. And lastly, Doctor, I know that because you were able to talk with Mr. Biden, the loss of son last year that we did refer to earlier, that still plays heavily upon what he does. It does. He becomes very emotional when he talks about Bo and the experience that he had. He acknowledges that that's really where he learned a lot about cancer and a lot about the things that we need to still accomplish in this area. And he's really interested in, you know, he makes a point that it's not about his son, but that that does clearly play a role in his motivation and his inspiration for the Moonshot Initiative. Dr. Monica Webber, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you. Superstar. We've talked about the time the past two years talking about the This is not the first time you've been here. Can we get, well, we don't have, we can't rewind it.